Hey there, my fellow um, telec engineers. Uh, today I'm going to show you about using one of these uh, impact tools that does um, the, the termination of the waiver, the wafers. Um, these are th these are called wafers. Um, they're 110 uh, punch down. Uh, I guess you could call them like inserts. So you take a 25 pair and you lay it out flat across one of these 110 blocks and then you come back behind and you take these wafers which have got four punch down slots on them or, or actually eight, four pair and then the back's got the little teeth that grip onto the um, to the wires behind them. So this is what this impact tool is used. Now this impact tool can handle up to five uh, five pairs. So they cut, usually these wafers come in two varieties, four pair and five pair. Um, but I'm going to use this on a four pair, and so you can see what happens. There's there's like teeth in there that match up with the uh, with the, the the wafer, and then they and then as you use it and you impact against the the board where the wires are, it should just smash all those teeth down to the wires. And anyway, the blade on the, this is a fluke. This is a kind of a nice one. These typically run somewhere in the neighborhood of. Well, I don't know about a fluke, but I know I've seen these online for about 80 bucks. But I imagine a fluke is probably going to be a little higher than that. Anyway, the, the blade is reversible. This blade, the way it is now, is is got the teeth that are flat. They're non-cutting. Now you could take the, the the blade out and you can flip it over, and it's got you see it's got like little cutting edges here. Let me show you against the white surface there. Little cutting edges there on the top. Okay. I'm going to use the non-cutting side, so I'm going to put this in with the non-cutting side facing out. And away we'll go. Okay, I guess this, this little the shield here is just kind of like a little retainer to help keep that, keep that blade in place. I'm going to start with one of my new wafers. I'm going to lay it up here on the white pair and I'm just gonna you know do it by hand initially just to make sure it's ended up in the right spot make sure all those teeth are going where I want them to and then I'm gonna lay this on top of it like that and then I'm gonna give it a push okay Ouch. now that snap that you heard is it, it's a it's a kind of like a torque release it's designed to provide only the amount of torque that is needed to get that down onto there. Having said that, it's not unusual to see people do that two or three times. I guess just because maybe, you know, I haven't had a lot of experience with one of these, but those that I've seen using these, I've seen them, you know, they'll do it more than once when they're doing this. Okay. Okay. Let's do another one. Now, as I said, these wafers also come in five pair versions, and this tool is designed to accommodate the five pair, but it can also be used on the four pair. So now I'm going to lay my uh, my next one out. Sorry, I just uh, had a little trouble getting this one out of the container. You can hear my little background. In the background, you can hear my little assistant there working in the uh, shop with me today. I asked her to be quiet while Daddy makes a video, but uh, she insists on carrying on her own little dialogue. Okay, so let's do one more. Got that in place there. Okay. I know it's loud. I know that's just part of putting up with being in the room with Daddy. Okay, and so I just keep on going until I've done six of these, and then I'll have that all terminated. And I don't know maybe one of my viewers can can answer this question is do you also use this for terminating wires into here so for instance if I was going to spread out another 25 pair or maybe I was going to spread out a four pair would I also use this to terminate that four pair I wouldn't think so but maybe somebody else knows better than I do anyway that is a uh, uh, five pair impact tool for use on these little 110 waivers thanks for watching